The Diabolical Trial of Shredder by CJ LeChamp. Watch out, right. wake up. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another trial of the round table. And a new challenger is approaching. Or if yep. I want to be specific, challengers, challengers are approaching. Yep. But these challengers are all known under one name. And who Shredder. is this man exactly? Well, uh... Let's it's just say this man has been beefing with Turtle since 1987. I brought back some takeout. So, like, let's get down and pig out. It's Shredder. Where? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the really? Shredder. So, everybody really? sit back and relax because the amount of evidence and exhibits I have on this man is about to make this the most right. massive and ambitious roundtable trial to date. Was, so, without right, further Batman? ado, yep. it is time to commence. <laughs> The Shredder Trial. The Shredder Trials. Exhibit A. Rocky. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit A. The Utram Shredder. Let's go. New York City. A city where okay. you can find damn near everything. From your bacon, egg, and cheeses. Mm -hmm. A random nigga getting sturdy on every get single the block. Don't forget the rats. Don't forget yeah. the rats. Never forget the rats. Ninjas. <gasps> I beg Giant your pardon. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I really would believe if ninjas are in New York. Yeah. Like, I can wholeheartedly believe from building building. it's a whole fucking, like, underground organizations running in New York. Mm -hmm. Like, mafia, mm -hmm. ninjas, assassin, all John that. Wick style. All of that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the TMNT version of NYC, where the streets are ran by ninjas. And to be specific, <laughs> Foot Clan. Foot Clan. Yo. Ran by none other than Oroku Saki, or Yo. also known as the, the Shredder. Shredder. Now, Yo. This man Shredder, based what pisses me off, I have all this for a video. I never did it. Yo, if you watching this on October 1st, 2024, we're currently doing a 24 hour stream on Twitch live right now. Chat even voted on some incentives that they wanted us to do. Where is that? Right there in the corner. So pull up to the stream, twitch.tv forward slash internet city arcade. Come have fun with us. We gotta be here for 24 hours. 24 hours of memes and other stuff. <sighs> Basically ruled the streets of New York with an <laughs> iron fist. He had every single rival gang and every single mob boss bend the knee. I mean, look at his first of example. Course, we got a run of the mill drug deal going on right now between the foot and some random ass mob. Mm -hmm. So bro right here come up and say, you got the stuff? Do you have the payment? Oh, we got the money, all right? So bro throws the briefcase to him and Big Dog got the case and started counting the money on the spot. And when he Got finished, that. he was like, Got Do that. you play us for a fool? This is only half of what we agreed upon. <laughs> mm. Yeah, because you're going to get the other half after we take it off your they they, corpse, they, bud. You think they're doing something with them guns. No, 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 no. Hey, look at the mob. These Bro, y'all got terrified. gas. So they got blinks. Okay. And the boys scared. stepped out. They start shooting. <laughs> This is how I know you're not real combo because I already dropped on Anno Anime. You're losing your power here. Mm. Never talk again. He already dropped. They mm. stood absolutely no oh. chance. And these were level one foot grunts, by the way. The foot grunts that Shredder treats like absolute garbage. I Facts. mean, look at these workplace conditions, my nigga. This man treats these foot grunts as his personal punching bags. First time, before they even start this beating I just need session, to stay warm, they got to glaze the nigga. They all got on one knee and started saying oh, in unison. Oh, no. Master Shredder, our no. glorious king, we are honored to get our ass beat by you. So the reverse jumping session started. Glaze number one decides to pull a sword out. Fight? Look at this. Weave roundhouse to the door. Oh. And he just whooped they ass without even trying. Look at this. He bicycle kicked a whole grown man into another man. And look how he mm, landed. Bro, landed perfectly. Landed per. See, the craziest part, bro. Mm. The craziest part about all this. The Duke fans. <laughs> I, I, I be thinking about this all the time. Right, 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 right. This man was be multi-million dollar slash dang near billion dollar industry, right? Right. Beefing with turtles. I would have just snitched. I would have literally just turned them turn into the, the FBI, CIA. The yes! Yeah, bro, I'm a, yeah. I'm a multi. Hey, I know this is gonna sound crazy. There's but look turtles at this. here. They're mutants. Here. They're Come, mutants. Get Go, yeah, Come get them. Come get them. Loki. I think he wanted the fight. As I think they're worthy the opponents. They just got absolutely. Oh. And I honestly got feel bad for these level one foot ninjas because they probably go through this every day. He probably just beat their ass for entertainment. He, this he is just cycling. torture, bro. And my God, 
if you ever failed this man <laughs> well yeah, let's you're, ask you're this guy right here so this random guy right here failed to steal this armored truck for shredder because the turtle stopped him so bro is pleading for his life right now he please. is saying please for the love of god me, you must understand oh. i was attacked by some buff ass turtles but shredder looked at bro and said shut your trap you are fucking failure no Please! So he leaps at this man, and you just see the door shut. And all you hear is this man screaming and getting his ass beat. And you never see or hear nope. from this man ever again. They gotta again. keep it PG. So guess what? <laughs> the uh -huh. ring, you guessed yeah, I, it. Murder on aisle four. This I, is dead. I, I said, but bro. there was one man who suffered the absolute... Oh, he's why, that big buff dude. Why you got or a ice? It's either the big buff dude or bastard stock. Why he icing people for not... Icing the people he can't ice. He icing people for not doing the job. I know that. He so icing like, him because, like, why you ain't steal this truck? I know, but he like the turtles. But he ain't beat the turtles. Yes, up. he did. They still, they still running the hey, Bro, he he beat the, He literally he ain't beat iced them. them. Well, obviously, they got a plot on them. But he, yeah, ain't he iced beat their ass all the time. Worse of Shredder's wrath because of his constant failures. And that is none other Baxter. than Baxter Stockman. Uh -oh. Holy f Bro took that boy whole body. He took his whole body. Shredder evil. Now that I think about it, this nigga Shredder is evil. He's he evil. What he did to this nigga Stockman, it is inhumane. First of all, you're probably wondering how Stockman even got in this situation. Well, he was a scientist working for right. Shredder. And one day, the turtles in April O'Neil blew up his lab. So while this man was trying to run away, he ended up running into Hunt, Shredder's big ass that enforcer. Well, Hunt told Stockman, seems like you're in trouble, Mr. Stockman. And Stockman knew he was cooked, trying to yap and lie his ass off. But Hunt grabbed this nigga by the yeah, collar yeah, and nowhere. walked him all That's the way crazy. back to Shredder. So they That's get back crazy. to base. And this A grown man carrying me like this all oh. the way back. The, the, the scariest part. What? How big that dude was, bro. You ain't nobody gonna handle him. Nobody. This motherfucker <laughs> Stockman was like, well, you see, Master Shredder, this is just a minor setback. Because with your funding, of course, <laughs> I'll be back at work tomorrow. But this nigga Shredder grabbed his Said claw, no. got up and told him, nigga, do you think you're off the hook? You must pay for your failure, Stockman. So Hun drug him off to God knows where. And the next time you see Stockman, he has a scar and a eye oh. patch over his eye. It's like his eye. He oh. gouged out his eye. Like his eye. He straight up and mutilated had to get back to this man. And look how he treats this man on a daily basis. Stockman like, oh, Master Short with my Ivy League genius brains, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. Shut your black ass up, Stockman. Ah! And guess what happened after this? He failed him again. again. So they took him back to the Jeez. torture chamber and whoa, Hun whoa, mutilated whoa, whoa. him again. And the next time you see Stockman, whoa, bro, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me explain. Let me explain something to you. Let me explain something because I don't know if CJ gets into it. By the time it's done, the nigga just the brain. <laughs> He was taking all the stuff <coughs> except for the piece he don't need. Yeah. Whoa. Because Baxter is one of the strongest people in the verse. His yeah. arm and paralyzed him. He turned this nigga to Charles Xavier. So I'm pretty Jesus sure y'all get how this works now. Every time this man fails, Every time. Shredder takes one of his body parts. And this isn't even the last time, but we'll save that for later. And trust <laughs> me, it gets worse. Yeah. So his first confrontation wow. with the turtles was a absolute beatdown. And before this even happened, Shredder tried to sweet talk this nigga Leonardo. He went up and told bro, uh, hello, nigga turtle son. We don't have to be enemies, my boy. So take this sword as my gift. So this man Leo went back to Master Splinter. And when he told him this, Master Splinter was like, oh, hell no, my son. Don't you dare trust that motherfucker. And this man Splinter was right because PTSD came and hit him like a train. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. The whole story, the entire story mm -hmm. of Shredder and Splinter. Splinter was the pet rat. Of a martial artist, right? And he is he not about to say that? I don't know, but he's a pet rat, right? A rat. 
Training karate. I swear. As a as a pet <laughs> was training and that nigga iced him. Because years Ooh, ago yes. when Splinter was Hi Mango, shut the fuck up, bro. For you time out, let CJ say it. That nigga shut up. Was the pet rat of Hamato Yoshi, the foot clan busted up in the house and jumped this man. So then Shredder came in and they started to torture him while Splinter was watching. And after he was done, he came in right in front of his face. In front of him. Yep. So now they knew who they was dealing with. So later on that night, while they're on the <laughs> rooftop, they end up getting ambushed by the foot. And here comes this motherfucker Shredder. And this man came in pissed off. He was like, I gave you that expensive sword and you still decide to fight against me. Did you know how much that cost you? Thought that was like, what, uh, up? $50, bro? Try 50,000, nigga. Oh. So Shredder sends his foot ninjas to attack him. And yeah, while this man Mikey is just twirling around his nunchucks, Shredder comes from the top <laughs> rope and man. drop kicks him across the building. Then he looks Make over it. at Leonardo. Bro said, come get some of this shit too. Then over here, look at Donatello just spinning Make his staff like an idiot. Nigga think he Wukong. Shredder comes behind him and just throws him. And look That's at Donatello's stupid ass. You know he can't clatter. break throws. <laughs> then this man threw a sword Ooh. to light the entire building on fire and just start staring down Leo and Raph. So they all jump up and Shredder just yeah. knocks Oh, bro. Hey, dog, bro, he's dog. And look, I need you. I need you to understand something. All the turtles are masters. Yeah, they're they're great martial artists. Man, he just took and he taking on four four dogs. I mean, technically, he they were distracted at first, but that this right here, he that taking kick on crazy. four dogs. The first two was distracted. That kick was crazy. Hit, bro. Yeah, that kick was crazy. The air. This nigga is cooking them. And then look at this. Raphael gets up just to get kicked off of the Ooh. building into a dumpster. Into the trash. That's off a disrespectful. Dog landed on a taxi. Disrespectful. And them boys had to retreat because Shredder then destroyed the whole damn building. And look at this motherfucker walk out the fire and saying, No oh, remorse. Turtles. Come out to play. I ain't gonna no lie. Remorse. I'd be shitting bricks if I was in their shoes. So then he called over his foot ninja. He said, Foot ninjas, glaze me. Yes, Master Shredder. <laughs> if you want a pay raise, find those turtles. So Shredder had a bunch of foot ninjas just on a wild goose chase, hunting these boys throughout the oh, entire shit. night until the turtles just decided, F it. We can't outrun the nigga, so we might as well just fight him. So later on, they decide to have a standoff on the top of this roof. Not gonna lie, the hardest cool, album cover cool, ever. Cool, so cool here comes this man Shredder, and he immediately said, Foot Ninja, jump the turtles. So they got a whole brawl going on right now. And I'm not gonna lie to you, make it, this make version it. of Shredder does not believe in fair ones at all. Not at Every all. Every chance he gets, he's gonna jump you. Look at this yeah. nigga Mikey just fighting for his life right now. That was on a fed up ankle just for Shredder to come out of nowhere <laughs> and send him flying. He said, by I mean, any look means. At this nigga. Donatello is clearly getting jumped just for Shredder to walk up to bro and tell him, hey there, little green nigga, catch this four-piece combo, nigga. Ah! Sit this nigga down you know and tell him You know what's funny? CJ asked us how the thumbnail looked. Dude. And we was like, we was like, nah, you can't. It's not a good picture of Shredder. He was like, these old shows, man, it's just they don't have ever have the good shots of... It's been good shots all of the That's video. why I didn't say I didn't say nothing, bro. <laughs> it's been I didn't good say shots nothing, bro. Of Shredder bro, but, all in it, the video. but look, but you about to see something. Cause he uh he's gonna go through the other versions of Shredder. There's nothing but good shots in this video. And nigga, <laughs> just for reference, check. And he used the same picture. He just put text over it. <laughs> just for reference, chat. This thumbnail, he sent it to us. I don't know if y'all can see it down here. We was like, ah, oh, it's not clear that it's Shredder. It look cause everything blend together. <laughs> we was like, he was like, oh yeah, you right, but the it's no good shots of Shredder in these old cartoons. And it was several, several. <laughs> you don't see off guard. This nigga don't believe in fair ones. Look at Leonardo. This man is backpedaling just for Shredder to come behind him and try to sneak him. Bro got lucky. Raphael bailed him out, but they just ended up trading places. Cause Shredder picked this man Raphael up and threw him across the building. And look at poor Mikey. Y'all already know what's about to happen. Shredder sneaks this nigga. <laughs> Again, send him flying to the wall. And of course, this man Leo's the last man standing. Just for him to run right into Shredder. And bro just looked at him and said, I think that's the shot right there. Make. 
So this man Shredder had him beat. Boy, the turtles frozen. are already down 2-0 against this guy. So right when he's about to deliver the killing blow, which is clear to the murder, by the way, Master Splinter comes down down yeah. and bails out his sons. And this man Shredder was pissed. He told Master Splinter, looks like New York's ever growing rat pandemic has still been unsolved. But Master Splinter was not about to take that disrespect. He led Shredder over to this water tower and gave him the bait of the century. He just started Rains. making bro miss. So yep. he would destroy the supports of the water tower. So when the tower started shaking, and Master Splinter told him, This is for my Master Yoshi. So, bro kicked the water tower on him. So, dog got okay. washed off the building and smart the water move, tower move. fell on fell him. him. So, hey, Master Splinter that, no. then bailed these boys out. Because they think Shredder is dead. And I mean, shit, anybody would. Nobody is surviving hey. that shit. But, but we would Splinter soon we understand about. that this man. Shredder. Is fucking unkillable. And I mean this literally. Bro yeah. dodges death like ice spikes shaking ass. It just comes natural to him. So about a good He gotta put her in there. He gotta put her in there. We know we know who you are, twin. We know who you are. A week later, Leonardo decided to go on a morning training run and everything just seemed all fine. Master Splinter was like, oh, take care of yourself, my son, and make sure to get that 40 yard dash faster. <laughs> you well, CJ was looking like, which Tarkin clip am I gonna use today? <laughs> <laughs> So Leo goes out on his morning training run. So about one hour later, it started to get a little worried. Donatello's smart ass was thinking in his head. Appreciate the sub, summer? gang. It's eight o'clock sharp and Leo left at 7 a.m. Usually it takes him about 30 minutes to run. Hey guys, the fuck's going on? I don't know, bruh, but something is totally off. Something and their suspicions were right because literally five seconds later, Boom. Leonardo Boom. comes flying ah. through the window. Oh. And this nigga is beat. Up. And Leonardo's last bro, one. bro, bro, when he showed this nigga, I want you to look at him. All right, all right. Think about all the fights we just saw them niggas get into. They got a sprained ankle. It mm -hmm. wasn't that bad, right? It wasn't that bad. First before he lost conscious was. <gasps> that nigga, that nigga, Pause. Whip his Pause. ass and threw him. Knew where he was staying. Threw him back. Whipped his <laughs> ass. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Yes, damn, it's not. Came back with a I didn't know it was this not, bro. He mad is not. He mad at him up, bro. Because while Leonardo was on his training run, Shredder sent his elite guard to jump this elite. Thing. And when they was done, they took Leonardo's swords, gave it to Shredder, and bro bended his swords and snapped him in half like a stick. And not even a minute later, Footman just started busting into April O'Neil's apartment. They said we committing home invasion today. So the turtles had to retreat to get to the store down stairs before they got overran so later on when they got to the store hey. shredder comes and kicks down the door and bro walked in saying one two three four how many nigga turtles are in my store mm. i know you're stealing but, yeah um, actually you're the one busting into april's store right now so uh technically you're the one stealing bro you know what well, man team? You actually got a point right now. Sorry, right, man. You little green shits. Quit all that yapping and come get these hands. So they dive in on him, and Raphael comes in first. But look at this. Bro hits the Counter. cook of the century Yo. and punishes the hell out of him. Mikey comes in and gets cooked oh, as usual. Bro, you gotta be more comes prepared. Donatello, he whiffs. And look at the sidestep. Bitch, oh. get this man into a stripper pole. But nah, I ain't gonna lie. We gotta ask this question. Hey, bro, why the hell you got a stripper pole in your store? You damn freak, shorty. It's April O'Neil. She's a New Yorker. I mean, true. you think she was paying? You think she was paying for the store and the spot upstairs? Mm. Just from the store? Just from the store? Come bro, on now, rent too high, bro. On, rent too high. Too high, bro. And she a redhead natural. Mm. That only stands going crazy. And she's stupid enough to be still in this room. Mm. Dumb as hell, <laughs> bro. First of all, you befriended mutant turtles. Yeah. Now you watching them get their ass whooped? Yeah. Let's be real. Let's be real for a second. I don't need to watch you die, Twin. I'm, uh, I'm be so real with you, bro. <laughs> Seeing them turtles IRL gotta be terrifying. Yeah. Gotta be terrifying. <laughs> They're huge. Walking. Two legs. Talking. Talking. Fighting. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> we probably got a secret <laughs> OF. So here comes Master Splinter, yeah. and obviously Shredder wants his run back. So they start fighting again, but I ain't gonna lie. Shredder started getting cooked by this rat again, because Master Splinter just had too much sauce. Drift up. So, so bro ended up kicking a bookcase off him, and they decided to retreat in this cellar. So while the foot was trying to open up the door, the cops ended up pulling up. So Shredder told his foot to disappear. But before he left, he decided to do some crazy <laughs> shit. 
Bro he walked set it on up fire? to the cooler and locked them in. Oh. Then he pulled out a grenade oh. Molotov, set the place oh. on fire, and started leaking gas. And bro started to walk away. I and knew said, it. This is what y'all get for camping like some pussies. Say your prayers, nigga turtles. So the gas started to leak, it. and bro blew up the whole block. Ooh. Ooh. This Ooh. is just ridiculous, bro. What are and the I'm cops not lie, This man had to have caught some bodies here. Yeah. I mean, you literally see these policemen get blown yeah, up. Cops, 99 no. 9 of the time, a regular yeah. dude is not surviving that. So let's be real. They're dead. Now, the turtles yeah. did get out of there because of a vent. But look at April. She is devastated. She done lost oh. her whole business and her whole apartment. And the whole crew basically had to leave New York. So Shredder effectively... <laughs> bro, he got them niggas out of New York. Ran them out of bro, New York. Bro. He, bro, he that nigga. Dog, ran him out of New York. Ran these niggas out of New York and put Leo in a coma. Bro oh. was gone for like a week. So the turtles were covered as time passed and they decided to assault this man's lair. So while they broke into Shredder's lair, they ended up finding some pretty really dark good. things that Shredder has done. And that would be human so experimentation because they found this lab and it consisted of a bunch of mutated shredders. And yep. also they was kidnapping motherfuckers. Yep. They found this video the of, best these of the best. Foot mad scientist that was experimenting on people they that the they the kidnapped best, and was mutating them into yeah. monsters. Yeah. So yeah, this man is a sick nigga, bro. But anyways, this they where the honey badger came from, chat. Y'all recognize the noise? Yeah. Yeah. That's why every time I knock him on the back of the head, he kind of turned back into, you know, they kidnapped my boy. That's why he's scared to go to New York, if we be honest. To the top floor to confront Shredder. But before they get the chance to what? fight, this motherfucker. Is that not accurate? No. Or maybe you don't remember because of no, the brain damage. I want to go to New York. You're lying. You're the brain damage. It's like you want to go. Aaron wants to go. But like in the back of your head, that PTSD kick in. <laughs> I'm scared of rats. Ah, ah, assholes. Ah. Yeah, it's just assholes. Like people, like they're mean. Like it's like you, you split. Type, you feel me? Type, type shit. Baxter Stockman pulls up in a whole neck. So Shredder was like, Stockman, what the fuck are you doing? Well, Master Shredder, this is my Emancipation Proclamation. Because I'm done being your motherfucking slave, nigga. So this man grabbed Shredder and started get throwing him around and dog walking him. Stockman was finally getting his get back from oh, all the mutilation the and music. the torture he's received. But his reparations would not last long. Shredder jumped up and yeah, just nah, sent Bro to the Shadow Room. You don't got the battle skills for this. So after that altercation, Shredder was like, now then, let's get down to business. Shredder starts whooping they ass. So here comes Master Splinter, trying to bail out his sons again. But this time, it wasn't <laughs> gonna work. Shredder jumps <laughs> up <laughs> I'm ready for this. this nigga through the glass Ooh. and off of the damn building. Shit, bro got lucky this was Leonardo saving his life and okay. not Spider-Man. Cause Jesus we all know Christ. what happened last time people yeah. was in this situation. <laughs> Blew yep. back out. But while Leo was saving Master Splinter, everybody else was just getting their ass kicked. It looked like Shredder at this point was just having fun. Bro, can we talk about our hearts dropping at that moment? Bro, can we talk bro, about, bro, like, it, oh, this is Spider Man. He's going to save her. Bro, he always saves her. Bro, my thing, you saw, remember how the, the web looked like a hand trying to reach her? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. This is Spider Man. She's going to be in the hospital. Wait, wait, wait. Nigga. <laughs> it was so crazy because her dad was like, leave her alone. Her dad was like, leave her alone. Damn, yeah, yeah. It's just, wasn't expected that. Then later on into the fight, he ends up pulling out this sword called the Sword of Tengu, which is a mystical sword that he had made a long time ago. We will learn about this soon. But he ends up blasting the turtles oh. and knocking them all out. So they was fighting they for like, their damn, life how much he got? because Shredder's using this busted ass sword. But they ended up knocking it out of his hand so Leo could grab it. And Leonardo and Shredder stood off for one final go. strike. And well, yeah. the plot kicked in hard yeah. and Leonardo ended up decapitating the Shredder. So now the battle is over and the turtles have defeated the Shredder. Or so they thought. Well, because wait, this man come on. got up, grabbed his head, and walked off into the fire. And how what the about? hell did he do this? Well, this is where shit gets crazy. It was one of the mutants? Nope. The, the Shredder, Shredder trial. Oh, wait. wait. You're Exhibit A. This TMNT was, it was, this TMNT is probably my, the greatest animated show like verse 
I loved it. Wrap up. Multiple counts of murder, mutilation, torture, mm. kidnapping, mm. home yep. invasion, yep. trafficking, uh -huh. racketeering, yep. property uh -huh. damage, mm. multiple counts of attempted murder, mm. assault on multiple, multiple counts. counts. Yep. And battery. Exhibit Can't be a battery. Me. Yep. Alrighty, this ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit B, Sherelle. Sure. Now, yeah. <laughs> let's get the elephant out the room. This nigga is not a Rokusaki. That was the worst elephant. This yeah. motherfucker is an alien. Yeah. Yes. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, meet Sherelle, the universal what? genocidal the maniac. Hell. This is the... This, the uh, super evil. Frieza. He's Frieza if he was just the head. So where the hell is a Rokusaki? You, uh, in the past. Yeah. Worst criminal in the universe, and he is also the Utrom Shredder. Now, it's time to go back to the 11th century. Now, this alien yeah. race called the Utroms are a oh. very peaceful, peaceful. race. Yep. But there was one outlier, Always and that one. was Shirelle. Now, currently, Always they have one. him in custody, and they're taking him back to the planet to be tried for his crimes against the universe. But Shirelle was not going to let that happen. So later on, Sherell ended up escaping and overriding the ship's engines, making the ship crash on the nearest planet. And that planet Earth. was Earth. Yep. Now the Utrons were very okay. technologically advanced, but since Earth was basically so far behind back then, they couldn't repair their ship, so they were stranded. So they decided we might as well just blend in and live with these people. So with yep. the technology they had, they made exosuits so they could blend in with humans. So one day when this Utron was taking an exosuit on a test drive, he ends up falling into a trap and he gets six flat Damn. by a log. And this trap was set up by none other this than Sherelle. And he yep. looked at the so poor little nigga taken. in there and said, <laughs> What a wonderful toy. <laughs> nigga. So he carjacks this little nigga. Then he decides to just pick him up Awful. and just throw him. Who knows where that little nigga just him. landed? He but died. after this is where him. everything makes sense. We see these Utroms working, and they end up getting attacked by foot ninjas. And they are being led by none other than the Shredder, the real AKA Shredder. Shirelle. Okay. This version of Shredder Wait. that we have been talking about is a 1,000 year old See? alien. That a the nigga oh. took, like he came up with the name. He came up with, yeah, <sighs> yes bro, yes. Established the Foot Clan back all the way in the feudal era of Japan. And look at this man. He is beating the dog shit out of these Ultrops. And look at Buddy right here. He just like, oh, oh, oh what is the meaning of this? Oh, oh, what have we done to you? What have you done to me? Oh, simply breathing the same yeah. air as me. Oh my God. Look at him. He oh is busting this nigga uh, out. Uh, this motherfucker uh, been jumping nigga since the 11th century. He been doing this for a thousand now, years. Y'all remember that sword? The sword a of thousand. Tenzu? This is when it was made. So he had blacksmiths build him a sword that was salvaged from the Utrom technology. So the blacksmith presented him with the sword and the blacksmith told him, ah, wow. oh, yes. Now, are you ready to discuss payments, Lord Shredder? Payment. Payment. <laughs> payment. <laughs> Give you payment. So what are we talking about? He aimed the sword at them and blew it. <laughs> like nigga. The nigga was evil for no reason. Pretty much. He literally. And a, 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 a like your just, whole planet is peaceful. He's and you the just only one evil. evil. He's killed millions. Yeah, yeah. At this point. No, yeah. not even at this point. Like, lore accurate. He was a warmonger. Oh, my God. Uh, why? They gladly built that sword for you, and you just no boom the bits. Well, they were scared. <laughs> okay, but... nigga. Triple homicide on all three. So after this, throughout the century, Shredder just... Nah, he kills Slade. He'd hate Slade. It's ...expanded the foot to what we know it is as today, and has been beefing and has been trying to kill all the Utroms ever since, and anybody allied with them. Because y'all remember Master Yoshi, Splinter's master? Oh. Yeah, he has been allied with the Utroms and oh. has been beefing with Shredder for years. He even corrupted his best 
friend to defect and fight to the death while he watched. Like this man is 100% pure evil, oh, not a single it. redeeming quality. So now no. let's go back to the present. Now, after this man dodged death again, I mean, this man had a fight with the Ultrons and the Turtles and survived oh, a building shit. that imploded on him. Still to this day, I don't know how bro survived this. He decided to take out his anger on none other than Baxter Stockman. Oh, now, as we saw oh, earlier, shoot. Stockman tried to oh, kill Shredder, shoot. but failed miserably. So Shredder yeah, decided it was time for some more punishment. And I mean severe punishment. Oh no. Because the next oh, no. time you see oh, Baxter no. Stockman, this man has been reduced to oh, a brain and an and eyeball eye. in a tube. This nigga is so evil. Why are you keeping him alive? This nigga is so evil. Yo! You know how crazy he took you know how crazy you gotta be to take a nigga nervous system out? Yes! And leave it alive! <laughs> and so he can see! That's crazy! <laughs> He's already dead! This in honest to God is a fate worse than what? death. This man has lost his body, and the only thing he has left is his nervous system in a jar. And what was the most <laughs> fucked up thing? Shredder looked at him and told him, mm, Baxter Stockman, it's it seems that you have overdosed on Ozempic. And then look at this. They start shocking this man. Yo! This is actually horrible. The fact yeah. that this yeah. was shown on four kids is insane because we saw slowly watch this dude get Just mutilated get and That's reduced crazy, bro. all the way to a brain in a <laughs> jar. Crazy work, bro. So fast so forward a couple days later, evil. and the turtles yeah. confront Shredder on this ship. So obviously Shredder starts talking shit immediately. Ah, uh, nigga turtles. Fancy that you are here because now you can be test subjects to my new footbox. Roger, Roger. So this robot walks <laughs> up and blows this crap <laughs> <Damn>. on <laughs> So a whole brawl ends up breaking out. Of course, hit. Shredder and Splinter face off again. And poor old Master Splinter got his ass whooped. Like, Shredder was teeing off on this nigga. Like, you could see I the pain in Master Splinter shaking his head like, Oh, oh, lordy, lordy, lord, I'm getting too old for this shit. So a big-ass explosion goes off, and Splinter oh. ends up getting knocked down, and Unk is not getting up. Somebody need to call Life Alert for this old nigga now, because Shredder's about Please. to kill this man. But this Triceraton rams Shredder away. So he is a box. Okay, it's it's another like it, it's hard to explain. There's no he's it's another character, guy. bro. Yeah, he's a yeah, good yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. So with Dino nigga, and this big ass motherfucker picked him up and threw him across the ship and hammer fisted him into this fire pit. So Big Dog thought he won. He was like, Victory for the Republic! No, bro. But the turtle was like, yo, turn around, bro! Cause this motherfucker what? shredder got up and stabbed oh, him in the uh, booty. Uh, I mean, it looks like he stabbed him in the ass. So while Shredder's walking over to kill the turtles, Dino nigga gets up, bear hugs Shredder, takes him over to the fire pit, and falls in it. <laughs> Okay. So you gotta think. No way Shredder There's survives no way. this. The ship literally blows up, and bro got dragged down to the bottom of the Plot ocean armor by for Dino the nigga. Is crazy. Well, uh, he Yo. lives to see another day. Plot armor as a villain once, is and crazy. I will say it again. This man is unkillable. Oh, and by the way, Dino nigga's dead. That man yeah. did not come out that water, yeah. so his no. sacrifice is in vain. So we got another murder on our one. So. After this, Shredder decided to do another nefarious act. So the city of Beijing became a floating Whoa. city after the Triceratops tried about to this. invade Earth. So Shredder wanted the thing that was making the city float. So you know what bro decided to do? Steal the thing and try to <clears throat> drop the city on the Earth. Like dog, this nigga is an actual maniac. And guess Very what? Much so. When Hun and Baxter Stockman failed to get the job done, he made these boys slaves. I'm not kidding. He got these niggas working in a steel mill in chains. Oh, oh Lord, have mercy. Oh, this nigga Baxter Stockman needs reparations oh, immediately. Cause his oh, brother done lost his body and now he a damn he working slave. as a Look damn at hologram. It was like, oh, oh Lord, Master Shutter, I, I'm working diligently. Nigga, did I say that you could speak? Jesus Christ. 
Lord Did bless his brother. So more time would pass, and Shredder would start Man, gaining more influence in the city. I mean, he had the mayor on his payroll, and he started to build a ship because he wanted to go to the home planet of the Ultrons and conquer their planet. But Damn. the Turtles was not having yeah. that shit because if they don't stop him now, he's gonna take over the galaxy. So they pull up on Shredder, and they don't sugarcoat it. Bro, this fool, this fool bored, bro. He's bro, bored. He's bro, bored. bro, he's been a, a, a lot of thousand years of domination. Super rich. Bored. It's because he can't fuck nothing. Gotta be. Because his body ain't real. Yeah. It's gotta, he's bored. Now, he's gonna take over the galaxy. So they pull up on Shredder and they don't sugarcoat it. They start jumping the hell out of this man. Like, this shit was crazy. They had bro stumbling and shit. Bro fell to the ground and he was like, in all my centuries, I've never had my ass beat like this. So y'all know Shredder was not about to go out like no bitch. Bro pops up and starts beating the hell out of everybody. Planted these yeah, hell is on the wall. And Splinter came right. from the top rope. But bro caught the sword and knocked him across the room. So Shredder ends up fleeing all the way to his ship and he takes off into space. So it was time for the final confrontation. So Shredder that's pulls up Mikey in his final box armor that's got four arms on some General oh Grievous shit. So Damn. Shredder, with the help of his delusional daughter, Karai, start whipping their ass. Like he's just throwing these niggas. And then look at this. They tried to run up and electrocute bro, but bro grabs the wires from him yeah. and he electrocutes yeah. Master Splinter. Ooh. Up was done for it. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, oh. hey, appreciate you, twin. Splinter! Then bro stepped behind Leonardo, booted him all the way to Karai, Jeez, and she stabs him. Leonardo was cooked. Then it was Raphael's turn. Bro grabs him oh. and hits him with the GPS. Oh. This nigga think he's CM Punk. And here come Mikey getting his legs taken oh. out and stomped on. Oh. And of course, here comes Donatello coming to get washed hey. like usual. This brother smart as hell, but goddamn, he the one that get his ass beat the most. Yeah. And Shredder has defeated the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He won the final oh. battle. So while he was about to kill Leonardo, Karai comes in and stops him. And this man was pissed. He was like, daughter. What the fuck are you doing? Father, this is dishonorable. Have you no honor, my nigga? Honor. Bitch, fuck all that shit. Oh, shit. Bro, just a bitch. What? what are you talking about honor? Bro. He's been terrorizing these niggas for a thousand years. He has no honor. That nigga don't care, bro. He's blowing up buildings. He's trying <laughs> to take them out multiple times. You think he's about to let them slide? That nigga's evil. What are we Bro's doing? His own daughter and is about to kill her. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This nigga's terrible. But right before this was about to happen, the Ultrams pulled up stopped time and warped everybody off the ship because they oh. was coming back to earth oh. to arrest this nigga oh. so we end up going oh. to the utram home world and they are about to put this man on trial for all the atrocities he has committed and my god when you hear some of this shit Ooh. it is absurd so the first thing that they bring up that on this one planet, their ruler Dolph Ed testified that he willingly launched an attack on this planet called Inif Gold and over okay. one million innocent people were killed. Dude. Oh, but we're not done. Next up, this alien Juan Ron Otho proved that he incited a civil war on this planet called Eno 2 in an effort to mine their raw minerals without restriction. Now guess how many people died during this? A whopping 3.2 million. Yeah. He's just doing it because he's evil, bro. Just because he wants to. This nigga's body count is in the millions. And I saw one comment before I made this really? video. Some nigga said, he's making a video on Shredder. What does bro do? Doesn't he just fight turtles? <laughs> Get the nah. fuck out of here, bro. And then they got him on nah. conspiracy to overthrow the government. So all the yeah, he to come the back and council <laughs> came <laughs> together and said, Sherelle, we the Galactic Council find you guilty and you will be banished to eternal exile. No, no. So Kill him. Exiled this man to a freezing planet. And that was the end of the Utram Shredder. Until he decided to try to destroy the multiverse, of course. The Shredder Trial. What? Exhibit B rap. What? Multiple assaults, yep. bribery, conspiracy, mutilation, attempted mass murder, multiple mass counts of murder. Bro, y'all supposed to shing, 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 get him up out of there. All the tech y'all got is because of their beliefs. Wow. Yeah.
slavery, multiple counts. But that goes to show you how, like, unlike them he is. They don't believe in murder. That's crazy. Even yeah. though they sent him to a planet where he would essentially die because it ain't nothing on that planet he can eat, survive off of. He got 4.2 million bodies, Aaron. And they still... You might as well say 4.5. Might as well say 5. You, the thousands of years he's been around. He got millions of bodies there. Of genocide. I told you. Exhibit C. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for our final exhibit. And that, of course, is multiversal destruction. So after Shredder got exiled on the frozen still, planet, of he ended up not giving getting up. saved by none other than the 1987 oh my Shredder. God. Now, the reason why he did this is because, well, the 87 Shredder is kind of a goofball. Is this nigga yeah. serious? And he was tired of getting his ass beat every episode. So he wanted... It's kind of like um, he ended up going to the different universe. ...to see what he could learn from his other counterparts. So, of course, he chose the evilest one out of all of them, the Utrom Shredder. Now, Utrom Shredder obviously betrayed 87 Shredder. Yeah. This nigga's an idiot. And he decided, no. I'm gonna destroy Real every single sub. Ninja Turtle that ever existed. So he took over 87 Shredder's Technodrome and started to wreak havoc across the city. Shit, the whole military pulled up. Shredder, they called the idiot. Army, Air Force, Marines, and they couldn't do nothing. They ended up idiot. becoming cannon fodder. He had all this power and was dumb as a box of rocks. Dumb as a box of rocks. Multiple bro. people. And this maniac is just laughing while he's committing mass murder and destroying the city. <laughs> this motherfucker is crazy. It got to the point 87 Shredder and Krang started to question this. They walked up to him and said, ah, what the devil are you doing? Let's just destroy the turtles and be done with it. Yeah, destroy them already, man. Fools, you bum ass niggas. Dare question me? Shut the fuck up. Oh. Dog, he's gotten oh. to the point where he's abusing oh. his own oh. counterpart. Nasty work. So later on, this man ended up capturing the 2003 turtles and the 1987 ones so he could use their DNA to find the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So he found Turtle Prime, which was the world of the first issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 1984. And he starts to destroy that world. This nigga's destroying the first comic. He's a fucking maniac. So it was time for the That's final, writing, final, yeah. final. Yeah. That's good writing. So to save the multiverse, the 2003, 87, and 84 turtles, writing. along with 87 Shredder, Krang, Karai, and Master Splinter was about to jump this man. Because if he destroys this universe, everybody gets erased from existence. So this motherfucker turned Whoa. into a giant Whoa. and he said, oh, this is my life. Y'all thought it was day. sweet? I count 12 turtles, a rat, my thought it was counterpart, sweet? a pink blob, and my thought, daughter, oh, you can suck my giant show. So this man just starts to destroy everything. This stupid ass nigga Crane turned giant just to get his ass oh. whooped. Wow. And this man get turned his hand into a Gatling gun get him out and here. started spraying and praying. And this just ended up becoming a whole episode of AOT. Cause this man done became yeah, a damn Titan and he trying to stomp on niggas now. So then he snatched the 84 turtles and started squeezing them to death. And this took everybody up. Because oh. since they're dying, everybody's dying. Even oh. Shredder himself. So Karai pled to him. Got about to that part, stupid. She said, father, please. Are you willing to destroy yourself? Yeah, you forgot about that part. And he stopped for a second, but then he thought to himself and decided, you little green shits are the bane of my existence. So if I die too, so be it. That nigga was crazy. You gotta admire the evil. You, you got to. You gotta you admire got to. the evil. Bro, cause I, bro, bro, think about That's it. Stupid. Think about it. Even Freezer, right? Freezer was like, yo, I'll work with you niggas if I come back to life. Yeah. I hate you monkeys. But, yeah, but, but if it's gonna get me something, you know, I would do it. It is what it he's is. He's like, he's like, oh, I'm dying too. Fuck it. Wait. Yeah, nah, fuck it. Ah! Yes, that's crazy. So this man is about to destroy everything, even himself. This nigga is crazy. <laughs> he's Bro, he's willing to destroy 
himself just so they don't exist. This might be the craziest hate boner of all time. Wow. Dio, you got competition, buddy. So right before the multiverse is about to be erased, this man ends up getting hit by ninja stars. In 87, Donatello actually came in clutch. It's a miracle. And Shredder ended up getting hit by his own Technodrome laser, evaporating him and finally putting an end to the Utrom Shredder. And with Jeez that, ladies Louise. and gentlemen, with all That's an of S -tier these villages, there should be no debate to he passed his trial. We are round tabling this nigga all now. PG this little bastard I wonder is if the gonna definition show of uh, a menace 20. to society. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, one Ninja trial Turtles? down and two more to go. There so it is. I Let's go. Okay, so it's a three-parter. I know the question's coming. CJ, when's the second trial dropping? Well, okay. I got good news for you. I'm already damn near done with it. So Oh, until we return, the jury is adjourned, and the trial of the Utrom Shredder comes to a close. Do I need to tell y'all the truth? What? About that second video? <laughs> What's the truth, there? What's the truth, man? Nah, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna. <sighs> he did say he was already done with it. He did, you know.